everybody this is Randy and welcome back to the channel this morning I am taking the dogs for a walk get over to the dogs there's Zephyr and there's Monty and I was thinking of a campground that we stayed at just outside of St. Augustine Florida called Stagecoach RV Park we really enjoyed our stay there we were there for four nights in February and we found it to be a very clean campground, very well uh, managed, and they had a lot of nice little amenities um, to offer your campers. The campground is right off of Route 95. I'll put the exit below um, so that you know where, where it is. Um, it was very convenient to uh, outlet malls and restaurants and such right along the um, I-95 corridor there so there was a lot of easy to get to places to go eat and such we also found it very uh, convenient to get to St. Augustine um, the, the old town and you could take you could drive into there less than five miles and be in St. Augustine and tour the old city and we did that and really enjoyed St. Augustine um, if you do go into St. Augustine, there's a lot to see. Um, there's the Fountain of Youth, um, Flagler College, which you can take tours of. Uh, there's an old fort that's uh, ran by the National Park Service that you can tour. There's also um, trolleys that you can uh, get on and use that as their mode of transportation. That's what we did. We thought that was a very convenient way to get around and see the city. And so we would highly recommend that if you're touring uh, St. Augustine. And you can buy a multi-day multi -day on off type pass there get you to most of the places that you want to see. Hey everybody, we're at the Castillo de San Marcos Fort. And this is in St. Augustine and we've just gone in and seized the fort. We actually used our um, senior um, National Parks Pass for the first time and we are going in and going to look around the fort. It's pretty cool. A lot of cannons and, and other history here so come on along with us. Bye people! Flagler College, um, it was Henry Flagler's flagship hotel. Well, what do you think of your trip to uh, St. Augustine? I thought it was very nice. Yep. You know, a, lot of, a lot of little shops, a lot of museums, um, a lot of things to see. Yeah, it was. The campground, we, like I said, was very clean. They had a dog park for the dogs, so you know you could bring your pets and they could um, have some place to get some exercise. And the, it was compact, but the sites were very nice. They were reasonably good size. They had a concrete pad for... Uh, your picnic table and they were all pulled through with water electric and sewer and they also had cable TV which is always nice um, the campground is fairly compact so there's you know it's not a lot of space but they did have a very nice um, uh, restroom and showers uh, 
right centrally located in the campgrounds. There really wouldn't be much of a walk to get to that. And they had a very nice laundry area that you could use, which we took advantage of while we were there. And they have the office and a little bit of a store, not a lot in the store. And they have a recreation room that can be used. And we were there, there was a rally of motorhomes and they were using the rec room for their meetings, which was nice. So if you are looking to go into the St. Augustine area and you're looking for a campground that is reasonably priced for that area, um, I would highly recommend Stagecoach. I will make a note of what the pricing is in the uh, when we stayed there and let you know that. It's a lot cheaper than the KOAs or some of the other uh, parks that are in that area that may be closer to downtown but you're going to pay a lot more. We stayed at the KOA in St. Augustine and it was at St. Augustine Beach and we paid into the 80, I think it was $85 a night for staying there so that was a little expensive. We would recommend Stagecoach and probably would uh, prefer that one over the KOA. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so that you get notifications of when we post new videos. We try to post new videos on a weekly basis and we'd like you to follow along on our journey. Thank you very much and we will see you down the road. Bye.